I've heard some people say this. Listen, I don't want to forgive. We will meet on the day of judgment. Have you heard that? We will meet on the day of Qiyamah. I will meet you on the day of judgment. Have you heard that? Yes. There are people who do it with passion, not realizing that's actually the wrong thing to say while you're alive. While you're alive, keep trying. Why? Because when you get to the day of judgment, you, you don't know which way the case is going to go. Trust me, you have no clue what may have happened in actual fact. Sometimes you are so confident that the right was yours. Yet when you get to the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you find out otherwise. And then what? But there is something even worse than that. I know I'm right. I know you are wrong. And I still tell you, I will meet you on the day of judgment. I don't want to forgive you. Okay, we now arrive on the day of judgment. You are standing, I am standing happily thinking, you know what? Today, I'm going to fix you. You stole my money. You are dead meat. Today, it's over. You are going to burn. You are going to pay for it. Imagine. I know I was right. There was no doubt I was right. So when I get there, guess what? The judgment commences in my favor. Mashallah. I was right. So I won. I'm proud. I'm happy. What happened? I won. That man was wrong. A good thing next to my name, a bad thing next to his name. Now what? Why did I say that don't tell people I will meet you on the day of judgment? Try and sort it out. Why did I say it? Look, I've arrived on the day of judgment. I won it. It was mine. That was one case that you had with one man. Now come all the other cases that you have. Another three and a half thousand cases that you have. When Allah looks at you, He will look at you with the eye of justice. And you cannot enter paradise through that eye of justice. You can only enter paradise through the eyes of mercy. Remember that. Because your salah, there was no concentration in it. So we are at the court case. We lost out on all our salah. Why? Allah says, look, that was not acceptable. You tried and you did as hard as you could. But you know what? You used to say Allahu Akbar. And you used to think about your business. Think about a woman. Think about some sin you want to commit. Think about the food that you want to eat as you go out here. And you know, there is brilliant food at Dynamo, for example. So you want to go there. And at the same time, you are busy thinking Allahu Akbar. Hey, we ordered the food for quarter past eight. This Imam here is taking too long. Allah says, what type of acceptance do you want from me for that deed of yours? What happens? Your salah is gone. Your good deeds are lost. Allah deals with you justly. It's fair. Allah says, look, look at this deed. Didn't you think like this? You say, yes, I did. Well, that salah is out. What if that happens? But when you have forgiven someone else in the world, Allah looks at you with the eye of mercy. You know what he can say to you? He can say, Hal jaza'ul ihsani illa al ihsan Is the recompense of goodness anything besides goodness? You forgave him, today I forgive you into paradise. Allahu Akbar. So don't think I will see you on the day of judgment. You might win one case. That's not the only case you're going to be fighting on that day. يَوْمَ تَأْتِي كُلُّ نَفْسٍ تُجَادِلُ عَن نَفْسِهَا On that day, every soul shall come defending itself. Each one wants to defend himself. Oh Allah this, oh Allah that. We will be fighting the cases one after the other. Imagine when some people have one court case, they are drained. They are drained. It affects their health, it affects their lives, it affects their wealth, it affects their relations, it affects everything. Imagine you have three and a half thousand court cases, one after the other, and that is a very moderate figure. So deal with people in a way that you would like Allah to deal with you. Remember that. Kama tadinu tudanu, how you treat others, so you shall be treated. My brother, you did something very bad, you did something totally unacceptable, it is very difficult for me to forgive, but you know what? I'm going to forgive you because I want the mercy of Allah. You don't even need to explain to them why you have forgiven them, but you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching you. Allah says, Allah 
whoever bears patience, whoever restrains himself and forgives, then that is the best of affairs. That's the best thing you could do. Allah is telling you it is the best thing you could do to restrain yourself, to protect yourself, to bear patience and to forgive.